Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you about the freshers and the resume template which the freshers should create. So we would be discussing about ATS friendly resume template explicitly created for the freshers. Now, why are we focusing on freshers? You might be thinking, uh, what is the need of the resume for freshers? But it is very important because now the campus recruitment drives have again started. So if you haven't watched the video that we had uploaded on the Sunday itself, the campus recruitment drive, the placement sessions, the placement season for the colleges would have started. And now the freshers would be getting the job opportunities and the companies would be approaching the colleges for hiring freshers. So let me tell you from the ATS perspective. Now, what is ATS? So if you haven't heard about ATS, so it is not a kind of a rocket science. It is nothing new. It has been there in the industry since long. ATS means application tracking system. Gone are the days when the recruiters will be going through the resumes of each and every profile and of each and every candidate and they will select their CV. Gone are those days. But now what is happening is there is this tracking system which will go through the CVs, which will go through the resumes of the various candidates that would have applied for that particular XYZ position and it would be shortlisted. So from the ATS friendly perspective, from the ATS perspective, let me share one of the digital product for you. So this is ATS friendly resume template for freshers and it is available at a 15% discount for the first 60 professionals, for the first 60 students who are looking to make their career in the field of software testing, right? And let me show you with respect to ATS, what are the different keywords that you should use? So we'll, we'll be discussing about education, projects or internships, skills, and you can use appropriate keywords with the help of which you can get select it and your resume can get shortlisted. Now, let us start with the education first. So with respect to education, you have to include about the programming languages. You have to include about the software testing courses. If you have done, if you have uh, completed your degree and what what is the name of the institution, the university, those all relevant things you have to highlight in the education. Then projects or internships. So for freshers at in the last semester, in the college, you get some opportunity to do some projects. You can include software testing relevant projects in your resume or at least internship. It can be three months of internship, which you can do any kind of apprenticeship ship that you have completed for software testing. So those kind of things are necessary for the freshers. If you have worked on non-technical project, then you can highlight it in one or two lines, but more it would be good if you can highlight some software testing projects because you are looking for job opportunities in the field of software testing. And see, whenever the companies are coming to the colleges, in the initial level, they would be doing mass hiring. They would be giving you the training for six months. And after six months, they might keep you in the consultant role. They might keep you in the software engineer role. They might keep you for development. They might keep you for testing. But if you showcase the testing aspects in your resume, then there are high chances that you might get selected and you might be given the role and the responsibility for the QA, for the quality assurance or for the software testing role for the fresher. So this is very important. Now, the keywords that you have to use here. So which are the important keywords that you have to use? So manual testing, functional testing, automation testing, test cases, test data, test scenario, Jira, Selenium, Agile, SQL, all these are very important keywords because if you would take nine jobs out of 10 jobs, which are posted on LinkedIn or on Nokri or on any other job portal, you would find these words only there. So you should include these words in your resume so that your resume gets shortlisted by ATS. And then the certifications or any tools that you have done, any programming languages that you have learned, it is very important from the software testing perspective. You should be aware about Selenium. You should be aware about automation testing and you should be aware about any of one of the programming language. And then you have to use some action words like tested, analyzed, identified, report, all these things to align with the ATS scanning. So don't worry. I have created one resume template for you which you can avail today at 15% of discount, right? And 
I'll share this link in the comment section of the video as well as in the description of the video. It's a paid digital product which you can avail. But if someone is not financially capable, you can reach out to me directly via email and then I'll assist you from my end as well. So you can avail this digital product at 15% of discount. And it is very important that you make your resume ATS friendly because the colleges have started getting the calls from the companies for mass hiring. So freshers, if you will see the recent video that we have uploaded, the Wipro, TCS, many of the companies would be going to the colleges and they would be starting the hiring soon, right? So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe our channel and also to avail this digital product, which is ATS friendly resume template for freshers, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.